Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 5000 M4 Carbine Challenge. Now, what is it? Well, basically what we have here is 5000 modern troops sporting the M4 Carbine. And we're going to be finding out if they can hold this village against a million melee troops of different types. So first thing we're going to find out is, can they actually hold the village? And if they can hold the village, which melee troops actually performed the best against them? So nothing is ever going to change in these matchups apart from the melee units that are going to be attacking them. And the first ones that we've got, ladies and gentlemen, either side of the village here, we have about 500,000 zombies, each side a million in total. So without further ado, let's kick off this action and find out firstly, can they actually hold it? Because I've no idea how good these carbines are going to be. As you can see, they are on top of a hill here. And that is quite a steep hill that the zombies are going to have to run up initially. But there we go. Our first initial engagement is going off. Let's go have a look at the zombie front line. Are they even going to get close is the first question. I do think they're going to get close just because of the terrain that we can see here. However, when they do get to the top, there is going to be thousands and thousands of carbines looking at them. Now, you can see that our troops here are actually on guard mode. So they are going to be proactively defending this place. <laughs> oh my, there is a complete slaughter happening straight away off the bat. Oh, look at these troops. These poor zombies here getting an absolute cardio workout. Running all the way up the hill here. Just to be greeted by thousands of carbines. <laughs> now, I do believe it is the M4 carbine here that they have got. Do let me know. I am not an aficionado when it comes to guns. Do let me know if it is not the carbine, but I do believe that is what it's called. <laughs> or at least some variation of that kind of weapon. But you can see, look at these zombies here, just swarming up the village. Oh my, they are actually making a very good attempt here. I don't know if 5,000 SMGs, uh, SMGs, uh, 5,000 uh, carbines will actually be enough. That's because I've just been doing the SMG video, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't watched that already, go check it out. It was a crazy video. And that, and this basically is the second challenge. So, yes. Oh, oh, oh my God. Look at that. These carbines are rinsing the zombies as they get to the top here. <laughs> Let's go have a look at our kill counters. So, already, we're at 25,000 dead zombies to 400 dead carbine troops. <laughs> Saying carbine troops makes them sound like they're from Half-Life or something like that. Oh dear. So, what we are going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to hit one of our lovely time-lapse cameras because... Like I said, we are going to have quite a few battles here, and I need to get through them all. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here we are, coming down to our last 53. I think the first question has been answered. <laughs> it appears that 5,000 M4 carbines cannot hold the village at all. However, they have put up an extremely good fight, ladies and gentlemen, killing 115,260 zombies so far. However, their numbers <laughs> have been dramatically thinned out. I believe there's only four left now. And I can see that two of them are currently up here. Oh, and these now are the only two left alive in existence, ladies and gentlemen. The last two humans on the planet 
Oh, we can see, ladies and gentlemen, the zombies have now figured out a way to actually get up to them. These last two brave souls, the last two remnants of humanity, and they're about to be extinguished. <laughs> oh, dear. So, here we are with our lovely scoreboard, and as you can see, the zombies are the only thing on there at the moment, with 3,783 kills. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our 5,000 M4 carbines, and what are they going to be taking on this time? Well, and a little bit of a callback to our video the other day, they're going to be taking on 1 million French revolutionary troops. However, unfortunately, these troops have once again forgotten their ammunition, so they're going to be charging up the hill, bayonet first, trying to take on these M4 carbines. Oh, you poor souls, you have no idea what you're about to face as you get up this first hill. You can see already the M4 carbines are ripping into them front lines, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't seen anyone actually die yet, which is quite interesting. These French are being very resilient to bullets at the moment. Oh, there we go. I've seen the first one fall. Oh, as they're getting closer, more and more are starting to fall. You can see all the troops now jostling for position up ahead. <laughs> oh, yes, as they get to the top of the hill, that is where maximum slaughter starts to take place <laughs> oh my these poor poor french people have absolutely no idea what an m4 carbine is yet they're still charging recklessly into them let's go have a look at the other side of the village you can see that they've actually made a bit more of an effort this time to go and defend the outer ridges what i have done ladies and gentlemen i did cheat a little bit I put a little bit of a bigger spacing on the M4 carbines. After the last match, I thought they were a little bit too bunched up. So I just increased the spacing by 0.5 of a percentage, which seems to have made a little bit of a difference. Hopefully, they shall try and at least hold the hill a little bit. As you can see, though, some of the troops are already starting to retreat into the inner courtyard as these French people... Uh, French people... I keep calling them French people. As these French troops keep charging up the hill oh my that is a big giant sea of blue out there ladies and gentlemen <laughs> oh let's once again hit our time lapse cameras and see what happens i'll catch you in a moment Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are once again, coming down to our last 55 troops. And the American, the Amer I was about to say, the American French revolutionaries. The French revolutionaries here 
have had to expend a massive amount of life to get this far, ladies and gentlemen. And when I say a massive amount of life, I mean a massive amount of life. So far, roughly 345,000 of them have been killed, ladies and gentlemen, by 5,000 M4 carbines. <laughs> That is complete and utter insanity. But let me go show you some of the battlefield very quickly. As you can see, there is still a heck of a lot of French revolutionaries all left around. But some of the body piles that they made, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, unfortunately, it's kind of hidden at the moment. But at one point, I don't know if you actually saw in the time-lapse camera, there was a stream of bodies coming down here. And I mean, there was thousands of bodies in the stream. You can see here, just how many have piled up, just falling off the cliff face here. And the cliff itself. I mean, is there any cliff left here? <laughs> there has been so many killed, ladies and gentlemen. It is absolute insanity. They were able to hold this hill very, very well, um, it must be said. Though we are now down to our last 20-odd here. So... <laughs> I think, unfortunately, this firmly puts the French revolutionaries at the bottom of the leaderboard. Yes, they did manage to kill all 5,000 of these carbines. I mean, I think they did. I don't know if they're going to be able to get to this guy here. We may have to take care of him ourselves. But yes, they practically managed to now kill all of the M4 carbines. However, the zombies did a much, much better job than these guys have. Oh my, ladies and gentlemen. I have, I have almost wiped out half a nation of people there. <laughs> well, it's, uh, let's face it, it's an entire city's worth of people that just died trying to take this one little village off the hill. <laughs> oh, come on guys, finish it up. <laughs> They're really struggling to just take on these last few here. I know, let's go kill this guy over here. So what we will do is we'll just... Oh, I can't believe I missed. We'll shotgun him. There he goes, down the hill. That should hopefully make these guys stop staring at him. So, these are our last five then? Is that to be uh, the case? Well, I can't count five here. I count three ladies and, uh, four ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about you. Now there's three. Oh, that's it's because they were falling. <laughs> yes. Oh, you poor souls, you're falling off the cliff rather than dying outright. It sounds like these uh, carbines are in burst fire mode, doesn't it? Yeah. What is going on here? This is some weird freaky... Oh! <laughs> That's some weird freaky dance. Oh, and there we go. That was the last one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the French finally, finally won. Though they lost 345,776 troops in the process. Oh, you poor souls. Anyway, to the scoreboard. Well, what an insane fight that was. As you can see, the French are now at the bottom of our leaderboard. Oh, gosh, they got absolutely decimated. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the M4 Carbine Village, where it is the law that everyone must have exactly the same combat fatigues and have an M4 Carbine. And I must confess, there's been a little bit of a mix-up, ladies and gentlemen. We were meant to be having a melee fight against some troops from the Archbishop of Austro-Hungary. However, what has actually happened instead, ladies and gentlemen, is we've been sent ostriches instead. And so, we're going to find out if one million ostriches can take on the M4 Carbine Village. I have absolutely no idea what is about to happen here, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's just kick it off straight away. Oh my, they are extremely fast, though, ostriches are, as you can see already. I mean, just look at them go. Oh my. Oh, just running into M4 Carbine. I bet for some of you Americans, or maybe, oh, sorry, for you Australians out there, or someone like that, this could be a very, very big reality. I have no idea. Well, I don't even know where ostriches are actually from, is it? I think I'm probably embarrassing myself here. But I believe they are from Australia, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure someone will happily do that. But as you can see, there is just constant feathery explosions at the moment. And the M4 carbine troops are rightfully so 
hacking away. You do not want to get pecked to death, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my. You can just see, though, that these ostriches are on them extremely fast. I don't know if the M4 carbide troops are actually going to be able to do this. I've no idea what the attack values or the health values are of these ostriches. I just saw them in the menu and thought, you know what? That could be quite fun. Oh, and I've not been disappointed so far, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> They are extremely fast. The only thing I do not like so far is the fact that they don't leave behind any bodies. I really wish that they'd leave behind some bodies so we could see ostriches piling up. I think that would be hilarious. <gasps> Look at this. In our last test, the ostriches, uh, the, the ostriches, the French troops managed to get, uh, sorry, I'm completely mixing this up. The uh, M4 carbines managed to capture the hill quite early on and it proved to be a massive success for them. Here, though, the ostriches are just completely surrounding them, ladies and gentlemen. They've not managed to get up to the hill at all here. They have been centred. They've been stuck in the centre, basically, here. Oh, my God. These ostriches are actually doing very well, surprisingly. Surprisingly, I, it's just insane to me, to be honest, that ostriches are doing this well. How are they doing this? Zombies struggled, <laughs> the French definitely struggled. The ostriches, no problem. Oh my god. So, we're very quickly going to hit our time-lapse cameras, and I think this one might even be a very quick time-lapse camera. And we're going to see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll catch you in a moment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We are down to our last three troops here. The last two are clearly on the hill here. As you can see, the ostriches just running up to them. The ostriches, my friends, have done absolute crazy work here. I am absolutely surprised by these. They decimated the M4 carbine village with minimal losses. They only lost, sorry, they only lost 47,912 troops. <laughs> Oh my. Once again, on our scoreboards, we can see now the ostriches are firmly at the top, putting the zombies and the French to an absolute shame. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our last and final test. What is it going to be? Well, these M4 carbines this time are going to be taking on 500,000 ancient Egyptian spearmen and 500,000 ancient Egyptian swordsmen. I really want to see which of the two Egyptian sides is going to be better. So, without further ado, let's kick it off straight away. I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling that these uh, spearmen over here are going to do a little bit better than our swordsmen over here. The swordsmen basically have no armor whatsoever. Where's the spearmen? At least have a shield, so they have some protection. Though I'm not quite sure how much protection a shield will offer you against an M4 carbine. The M4 carbine is going to obviously just absolutely destroy the shield in seconds. They are just made of wood after all. And you can see already the Egyptians are really starting to struggle as they get closer. The carbines are rushing out to greet them head on. Oh my, the amount of bullets going down range at the moment. That is a lot of firepower that the M4 carbines have. Let's have a look at the other side. Ah, yeah, the, the poor swordsmen are having a much more difficult time. The terrain they've got to attack is also a bit more... Uh, let's just say it's a bit more difficult. I mean, yeah, this is a vertical cliff face they're practically coming up here. Whereas on this side, you can see that it's a lot more open. Mind you, I don't know what I'd like. A big open field against M4 carbines or some weird little jungle crevasse like you get over here. However, you can see that the M4 carbines are pretty much just waiting at the top here and are slaughtering any poor Egyptian that gets to the top. Oh my, that is some killing field they've set up there, ladies and gentlemen. 
all these poor Egyptians, how are they doing on this front? Well, you can see in the big open fieldy area, they're having a little bit more success. It's not that much better, but it is success nonetheless. They are actually managing to get towards the troops. What they need to do, though, is stop them from gaining this hill. As we saw last time from the French revolutionaries, when they got this hill, it was pretty much a slaughter. But look at this. I would say that the uh, spearmen are having a much difficult, more difficult time than the uh, swordsmen. They're not able to get anywhere near as close. So it appears... Oh my, it appears that they're not actually going to get there at all. I don't know. What is going to happen here? Are the M4 carbines going to keep backing up to a point where it just allows them to get up? I have no idea. Oh look, they're coming over the top of the hill here as well, you can see. An extreme flanking manoeuvre by the Egyptians. That is what we love to see. <laughs> it's not working out for them yet. The, the, what it is doing is making all these M4 carbines bunch up a bit and it's stopping them from laying the smack down on these troops over here. And the more they do that, the more that the spearmen will be able to push on their side. So, fantastic distraction technique. Though, it's probably one that's going to cost them hundreds of thousands of lives. Oh my. So, it hardly looks like the spearmen are pushing on their side. But rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, they are trying. It's just that the power of the M4 carbines are thinning out the horde before it can even get there. So, what we're going to do now, once again, is hit our lovely time-lapse cameras and see what happens over here because as you can see there is still a massive horde left and these poor guys have only just got to the top of the hill so i'll catch you guys in a moment Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the absolute massacre that just has taken place. It is absolutely unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. But the Egyptians only have 34,000 troops left. Oh my god, this fight has now been going for about two hours. And as you can see, the bulk of the Egyptians are now just stuck around the base of the hill here. But look at that body pile, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. God, that is absolutely insane. <laughs> there are so many bodies here. And just look at, at all the M4 carbines now, just sitting on the ridge, shooting down into this mass here. So, I am pretty much going to call it here, ladies and gentlemen. Look, the, all the swordsmen are completely dead. There are just all here. There is no more mountain left. There is just a body mountain. And look at this on this side, they're actually pushing down the bodies now to clear up the rest of the Egyptians. So, yes, I am definitely going to call it there. <laughs> In the end, then, let's say that they... Oh, look at that. Ironically, total kills for the Egyptians, 1337. Elite. Oh, I think they were anything but elite, ladies and gentlemen. There is 3,103 M4 carbines remaining. 
<laughs> and they managed to kill 930,000. <laughs> oh my, I, oh, let's go to our leaderboards. So, looking at our final scoreboards, the Egyptians absolutely failed in the end, and ostriches proved to be the best melee unit in the game at the moment, especially when it comes to M4s. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you had a blast. I know I did. Please do comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. as you fade away.